This week on Top Golf Chef Showdown. Food icon Marcus Samuelson. What's up, guys? Marcus Samuelson. I'm floored. <laughs> you got a little spice in that bad boy, oh, huh? Craig is working really, really fast. I just wanted to get it right. We're back with the competition that takes you behind the Top Golf menu. Over the last four weeks, our fierce competitors have put their passions on the plate. Ah! But half have said goodbye. Now, four remain to face our toughest test yet. I'm in the game! Go and get him. Come on. You on your right? Yeah, here you. Right behind. Coming over, Craig. Coming over. Who will earn the honor of their dish on the Top Golf seasonal menu and a $5,000 donation to the charity of their choice? You are on fire. I love it. Welcome to the finals of the Top Golf Chef Showdown. From eight chefs, just four remain. Let's meet our finalists. I'm in the finals. Oh my God. Today I will be playing for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation of Southwest Ohio. My youngest son is type one. My competitors are very strong, but what sets me apart is my swag. Getting to the finals is a really great opportunity. Today I'm playing for No Kid Hungry. It helps families who might not be able to afford putting food on the table. I can't wait to get in there and see what they have for our challenge. And I think that all of the competitors are gonna give me a very good run for my money. Super excited for the finals. Today I'm playing for the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation because uh, myself, I'm a type one diabetic and I have been since I was two years old. It all comes down to being the best cook. Executive chef means nothing. You know, you gotta put the title beside you. I'm in the finals and I am extremely proud of myself because I honestly didn't even think I was gonna make it past the first round. Playing for the Rio Grande Valley Food Bank, they have food available to families who need it. I'm walking into this challenge not knowing what they're gonna throw at us, but no matter what happens, I'm gonna walk out with my head held high. Earlier, our contestants vied for an advantage in the kitchen with a classic Top oh. Golf tea line challenge. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Dribbling it in. What are we playing, putt putt? And with a dominating score, Chef Craig took first place. <laughs> Chefs, congratulations. You have made it to the final round. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Well done, guys. Now, to win, you'll have to please the ultimate judge, world-renowned food icon, Marcus Samuelson of Harlem's Red Rooster. What's up, guys? How's it going? Thank you for having me, man. Good to see you. Chef Marcus Samuelson, I'm floored. All right, with top-notch food and fun, Top Golf is all about win-wins. And so for the spring seasonal menu, they're looking to add the most craveable combo. Tacos and tequila. Who doesn't <laughs> love that? <laughs> your final challenge is to make us your most creative, flavorful, complimentary taco duo. But that's not all. You'll notice we have our own Top Golf bar and bartender. Say hello to Savan. Hi, Savan. Hey, Good to see Savan. you, brother. <laughs> Visit Savan during the challenge and he'll craft the perfect tequila cocktail to go with your taco creations. Chefs, the advantage from your golf challenge is time. Craig, since you won, you'll start the challenge immediately. The rest of you will start at one minute intervals in the order you placed. Danny, you're gonna be three minutes behind everyone else. Chefs, are you ready? This is for the whole enchilada. 45 minutes on the clock. Your final round starts right now. Go get him, Craig. Go get him. Do it. Having extra minutes over the other chefs, I feel will really help me out. I want to do a uh, veggie taco and a pork taco. Rocking that chorizo, huh? Randy, you are in the game. Do your thing. I'm looking at the proteins. Chicken thighs, you know what? I see chicken thigh and I see pork. I know they're both pretty fatty meats and that they're going to give me good flavor. My mind is racing. Latoya, you are in the game. Do it. It's go time. I grab chorizo, potatoes, black beans, corn. I got a whole grocery in my bag. Danny, how you feeling over there? Feel a little lonely? I do feel a little lonely. 
I mean, three minutes. That's a big difference. Yeah, that's a three big minutes difference. Is. Danny, you are in the game. I'm in the game. Go and get him. Come on. My first taco, I'm going to go with a pork sausage taco. I grab the pork sausage, get those sautés. I think here, you want to go for maximum flavor. A protein that you have to cook for a very, very long time, I don't think 45 minutes is going to give you enough time. Not going to happen, yeah. I'm going to make a chorizo taco with a crema filling. I immediately get the chorizo out of the casing and get it into a skillet. Yeah, I got pork one here if anybody needs it. I want to do a uh, duo of tacos. One's going to be a veggie taco, and one's going to be a pork taco. I take pork sirloin, and I go ahead and throw that in my sriracha and soy marinade. I get my salsa ingredients, tomatoes, onions, some garlic, poblano pepper, and then some jalapeno for the heat. Toss them a little bit of oil, salt, and pepper, and I pop those into the oven to add some depth of flavor. I know that I want to do something safe and do something fun. The first taco is going to be seared chicken with corn pico. The second one is going to be like a Middle Eastern style pork. For my pork tacos, I add turmeric, a little bit of cayenne to open up your taste buds. 35 minutes on the clock, chef's 10 minutes down. We have to create two different types of tacos. I need a tortilla and I'm looking and I'm looking. No tortillas inside anywhere. They do not have any tortillas in house. I look around, I see masa, I see tortilla presses. Whatever the vessel is, yeah. you've got to make it from scratch. Nice. I love that. Yes. Right now, my mind is scrambled. The tortilla is actually pretty quick to make, right? Oh, yeah. yeah really I quick. think it's intimidating because it's not one thing that most people have made from scratch. That's right. You know? That's right. Last time I made tortillas was back in culinary school. But I feel very confident, feel confident, you know, just about all the time. Uh, <laughs> To make corn tortillas, you take your masa, mix it with a little water and some salt, and maybe a little bit of flour. Once I have my tortillas portion, I go ahead and I throw them on my tortilla press. Takes a little bit of olive oil grease. Uh, you know, nothing that I can't manage. Cilantro, there we go. I'm gonna do tortillas that are half masa, half flour. I've made these before, and I know they're tasty. And I'm throwing in a little cilantro for a little bit of color. If we're not making tortilla, would a yeah. pancake do? Yeah, you could totally. If you had a waffle maker, you could do yeah. a waffle and use that as a vessel. Really? Sure, why not? Maybe I'll just step outside the box on this one. I'm not known for playing it safe. I want to know what Latoya's doing. Latoya, what kind of taco are you making? I'm making a stuffed potato taco with chorizo. Mm. Like a potato skin. That's definitely going outside the box on the taco. 100%. I'm going to make a taco with potatoes for my taco shell. These are not your mama's tacos. I get the potatoes, drop them in the water. She's so clear on a potato bowl taco that that, for me, is amazing. I've never made tortillas before. Danny, what do you got there, chef? My shells. Making a cheese tortilla. Definitely something different, and it's something that I can get done relatively fast. Uh, cheese twill. I like it. I like it. Nice. I grab some white cheddar and some Monterey Jack cheese so I can make little cheese circles that'll later fold into taco shells. All right, chefs, the bar is open. I run over the bar and I'm thinking I want to use some citrus to go with these tacos. I was thinking a tequila lime made. I'm doing a pork taco and a vegetarian taco. Talking up a little bit of reposado, a little bit more aged. Sounds and rock with the man. Well, thank you. And good luck. Yeah, I love reposado. That tastes great. So do your thing, Savon. Hello. So how are you doing, Mom? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. So I'm going to make a stuffed potato bowl taco. Okay. Well, I'm going to allow the bartender to do what he does best. Hey, friends. Hey, Dan. My tortillas are made out of cheese. Ah, uh, OK. OK. <laughs> he doesn't even tell me what he's going to make. He's just like, Danny, I got you, and I trust him. I'm going to do a spicy chicken thigh with corn pico de gallo. And then I'm pork tenderloin, stir with turmeric. I'm going to make you a little blanco, a little bit of sweetness. Let's go with it. Chefs, you are at 23 minutes. 23 minutes left. I go ahead and throw my tortillas on my flat top to get them cooking. They started cooking really well, but once I flipped them over, they started to break apart a little bit and seemed very dry. But I don't really have the time to go ahead and start something different. Hot pan, hot pan coming through. Craig is working really, really fast, but I get a little work. I just wanted to slow down on this a little bit to get it right. Yeah. The energy in the room is crazy. The dance of the kitchen, yeah, I, I love it. We're using our words. You on your right? Yeah, I hear you. Right behind. Coming over, right? coming over. We're all just dancing around because it's what we love to do. Randy, what are we up to? What are we doing? 
I start putting the dough on the tortilla press. The tortillas I feel are coming out a little bit thick, but I'm kind of worried about how much time I've got left, so I'm trying to make them as quickly as possible. Chef, how you looking? Right now, I'm just getting my protein going while my yep. tortillas get nice and warmed up. <coughs> you got a little spice in that bad boy, bit. huh? Hell yeah. There we go. I've got my proteins cooking. I've got my tortillas on. I'm just kind of trying to monitor both of them at the same time. He's very smart. He's slow and steady. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So my tortillas are dry, so I'm thinking, what should I do? I'm going in the fryer, huh? I decided for my pork taco, and I want to do a uh, crispy and a soft shell. I'm thinking, you know, that's pretty creative. You know, it's uh, something different. OK. I see my potatoes cooking back there. Is there enough time to bake potatoes? They are not cooking as fast as I need them to. So I pull those bad boys out, get them in the microwave. But a microwave would work. That's 100%. a smart way. That's oh, a yeah. Smart. Yeah, yeah. The only, I think that's the only way it would work right? in a 45-minute time frame. Latoya, yes. oh boy, yeah. <laughs> what you got here? So this is chorizo yeah. with a little peppers. Yeah. But I mix in some uh, Mexican crema in it. Now I'm looking for a nice, soft, spicy, creamy feeling. I taste it, and it is money. So I go to check on my potatoes. They're soft and just where I need them to be. Hot, 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 hot. And I get them all hollowed out, put my chorizo filling in the potato boats, grate cheese over them, slide them puppies in the oven. My cheese tortillas, I have them folded. My pork sausage is done. My other taco, I decided to go with a vegetable taco. All right, Danny, what do we got? Uh, we're going to be sauteing some eggplants and yep. some orange pepper, a little poblano, some onion. A vegetarian taco. Yeah. And then I'm going to fry avocado. Fry an avocado. Yes. Wow, you are on fire. I love it. Get my vegetables sauteing. In the background, I can hear Marcus. I'm worried about Danny. She's got to get those veggies on. Yeah, yep, yep. Yep. Danny, you might be better off in the oven, time-wise. So I let them saute a little bit longer, and then I finally do put them in the oven. I am a little worried that I got them in a little too late. If I don't let them cook long enough, it's just not going to have the right kind of texture that I want. I finished my pork. It's nice and juicy. Next, to make my veggie taco. I saute my mushrooms along with my red peppers. Getting ready to move on to my second taco, which is my vegetarian street taco. I'm going to go with bell peppers as my taco shell. So I get my bell peppers right into the oven for just a few minutes so they can get softened up, foldable like a taco. To make my filling, I go for the black beans, roast some corn off. I just threw that bad boy right on the burner. Chef, 10 minutes left on the clock. I taste my Middle Eastern style pork. That's it. I start thinking about the topping. What are you working on, Randy? I'm doing a uh, pine nut mint and golden raisin chutney. Ooh. For flavor, I'm looking for something herbaceous as well as sweet from the raisins and a little bit of nuttiness from the pine nuts. Fancy. Five minutes and 45 seconds, chefs. I'm looking at Randy and Toya, and they're already plating. I still have to fry my avocado. Time definitely did just get away from me. I just get this bolt of energy. Just get it done. Finish your mission. Hop in. My veggies are done roasting for my salsa. I go ahead and throw them in a blender. I'm hoping the salsa kind of pairs really well and adds uh, some freshness. I decide to add crema to the chicken taco and feta to the pork taco. One minute, Mark, chefs. One minute. Get some shredded cabbage fine to finish those vegetarian tacos. 30 seconds. Cilantro, cilantro. Right here, right here, 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 here. Go, 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 go. Ten, good job. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands up. Awesome. You got a hell of a team, so wow. a hell of a team. I just feel a huge relief. This truly is the highlight of my top golf career. Chef, we asked you to make a duo of tacos with a matching tequila cocktail. Chef Danny, what'd you make? I made a cheese tortilla with some pork sausage, and then the other one is a vegetarian with some sauteed eggplant, some poblano, and a fried avocado. Nice.
Danny, I feel like your food is very original. The other great thing with the cheese taco is you're getting this natural flavor of salt. What I think you could have improved on, the eggplant for me is a little bit undercooked. I didn't think the fried on fried would work with an avocado, but it really makes the whole taco creamier and mm. it's a really good choice. Thank you, Chef. Uh, Chef Danny, the poblanos, surprisingly, has a great kick. You go back to the shell with the cheese and just the fat content from that kind of cools my mouth off a little bit. And this is definitely an all day cocktail. Combination together, this could get us into some trouble. <laughs> I agree with Marcus, the, the eggplant uh, needs to be cooked a little bit more. I think you had a little bit of issues with your time management. Yes, yeah, Chef. Three minutes hurt. <laughs> Three minutes yeah. hurt, yeah. Yes. But really, super creative approach. This is something I would probably find up in Harlem at Red Rooster. Yeah. <laughs> and about a month from now, it's all in the menu. <laughs> Craig, what'd you make for us, Chef? I did a double layer taco with uh, pork tenderloin. Then I did a veggie taco, soft tortilla, mushrooms, peppers, and then house roasted salsa. Ooh. The pork tenderloin that you had inside, it was cooked nicely. The vegetable component was delicious. Did you struggle with the tortillas uh, a little yes. bit? Struggled with the sizing and uh, just uh, the overall texture of it. Yeah. That was the issue. It needed moisture, ultimately. Yes, chef. Craig, you're the fastest chef I've ever seen in a competition like this. Appreciate it. You were fast. Yeah. Appreciate but it. your body's got to be calm inside. Yes. Because through that calm, you can execute. Yes, sir. Because the salsa is delicious, so you have a very, very good understanding of how to create flavor. Yes. Chef Craig, I've been eating tortillas for a very long time, yeah. right? <laughs> the flavor of the masa was spot on. Yeah, it's good. You know, I like that I'm getting a couple of different textures. It's got a little bit of heat. Yes. Combined with the drink, solid dish. Thank you. Latoya, what do you got for us? Today I made for you a chorizo taco boat and vegetarian street tacos with black bean and roasted corn. So not your traditional taco. You can't be traditional today. I like it. Latoya, it's delicious. Thank you. The blend between having an all vegetarian taco that is much lighter and brighter really, really helps the dish. I'm still struggling if there are tacos. <laughs> For me, there's sides. Understood. Super delicious sides. The flavors are amazing. The chorizo, the cheese, the potato. Mm. I mean, this is indulgent. Chase that chorizo with yeah, this cocktail. It's good. But I'm on the fence. You know, a taco for me, the salsa, right. the juice of the meat, all of that should be just flowing down my arm. I'm not getting that. Understood. Hey, let me tell you something. You know how to cook. Yeah, you do. Call it whatever you want, right? I'll call it delicious. I appreciate it, thank you. Chef Randy, what'd you make for us? One of the tacos is curry, turmeric, seared pork with golden raisin chutney. The other one is chicken thighs seared with corn pico on top. I was thrown off a little bit by you going with cilantro, but you know, visually, it's very appealing. Uh, it is a little dense. Mm -hmm. Could have used a bit more moisture, but the flavor's amazing. Yeah. Your proteins are cooked really nicely, but they're also seasoned yeah. beautifully. Yeah. They have really nice flavors. I like the turmeric that you have inside there. That chutney, it works really well. A lot of sweetness inside there. Just on fresh radishes, it would have helped that. But, you know, you cook with confidence. I never really saw you sweat, but you got a lot of stuff done. It's not rushed. And that's the mo most important thing. Tacos, it's just about textures. And the textures here make sense. And I, and I really like that. Thank you, Chef. And your cocktail is delicious. <laughs> Chef's great job. You guys all cooked really well. We're going to have a lot to discuss. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, well done, Chef. Oh, good well job, done. guys. Well, no matter what happens, they definitely have a tough decision to make. Yeah, they do. Oh, good job yeah. to everyone. So we got a lot to talk about. Yeah. Each one of these chefs brought something really special. Craig's salsa for me was the best salsa. Oh, absolutely. That, the way he roasted it Amazing. and understood the flavors, but Craig just kept on working these big giant tortillas. Yeah. And, and when you don't have that, it's hard to make a good taco. Yeah. I, I think that it was really clever the way Danny wanted to use the cheese as a tortilla. It was bold and it was edgy for her to go, to go that yeah. route. She looked overwhelmed mm -hmm. and I felt like that kind of showed in some of her food as well. 
I love Latoya's flavor component. Yeah, I liked Latoya's the best. The chorizo and the, the crema and the cheese, that was great, but you know, in the end, that wasn't a taco. There's no reason why you can't take those flavors and make it a taco. Exactly, you right. put that into a really good tortilla and yeah. you've got something. Mm -hmm. yeah. For me, Randy put the best combined dish together with the fresh cilantro in the tortilla. There's a lot of different flavors. Not sure if that's quite top golf friendly just yet. But being able to utilize the spirit of what that dish is. That might be something, uh, you know, something to think about. All right, so I think we have a lot to discuss here and we need to make a decision. I think I need another cocktail before we do that. <laughs> Let's have another cocktail and we'll talk about it. Chefs, big congratulations. However, there could only be one chef with a dish on the seasonal Top Golf menu, and only one chef who will give $5,000 to the charity of their choice. In the end, it came down to the chef that delivered what we asked for. So the winner of the Top Golf Chef Showdown Tacos and Tequila Challenge is. Chef Randy, good job. Get over here. Right. It's going to be awesome knowing that my food's going to be on Top Golf's menu across the country. Brings out your eyes. Uh -huh. yeah. The charity that I chose was No Kid Hungry, and the fact that we're able to put food on the table for someone who may otherwise not be able to have it, it means a great deal. It's the culmination of a lot of hard work and a lot of lessons learned. I'm gonna go back to work and continue to try and get better and better as much as I can. Chef Showdown is how we highlight our chefs in the field. Randy took the win with Dos Tacos. I wanted to celebrate the edgy spirit that we look for here at Top Golf. Play it safe with one and then take a risk with the other. Might be a bit messy. The love in every single component that he puts out is amazing. So come on out to any Top Golf location near you. Have some tacos, have some margaritas. We'll see you there. I hope you're loving the cooking competitions. I hope you're loving the guest judges that we have. Like and follow our page. Check out who brings home that big win. It's a lot of fun.